So this is going to be just a short and quick update video on my Land Rover Freelander 2, which my daughter is now driving around most of the time. Had a couple of incidents over the last little while, um, but all working the kinks out. Considering this vehicle has 320,000 Ks on the clock, just replaced the MAF sensor because it was giving me very sluggish overtaking and very sluggish acceleration. Fuel consumption was getting very, very high. Um, like up over 10 liters per hundred instead of the usual 8.2 to 8.4. Um, so just change this MAF sensor here, which is quick. You just pop the pin up there, pull this off, take the sensor out here, and voila, Bob's your uncle. Uh, other thing, other little bit of work we've done to it is we've actually done a gearbox flush recently. Uh, now the transmission's super smooth again. I do see I got a bit of seepage on the engine over there, um, which I guess has got something to do with the with that obviously that gasket over there uh, on the common rail system. Uh, but other than that. She's still purring like a kitten. Uh, the engine mounts are still good. The coolant, oh, I did a coolant flush as well. Uh, what else did I have to do? I did a coolant flush. Had a bit of problems with the bulbs. Um, won't lie, I tried to put in upgraded bulbs, but just couldn't get them to seem to work. Um, struggled, so I had to go back to the traditional old ones. I was hoping that I could get LEDs going. What else? So. Uh, fitted new front tires, uh, shocks and shock mounts at the back, which cost me the entire rear end with shocks. So two shocks, two shock mounts, and the two front tires was around 12 grand. We had to repair this handle, which is going to be in another video. Uh, I actually bought a whole new handle, which I completely redid with plastic weld. Um, actually, I redid it with Cubon, so this new one is much, much stronger. But then, in a hurry, my daughter decided she wanted to fit it without me finishing the thing. And then we had to seal it with silicone, which is actually... We'll, we'll get it nice and spick and span, but I mean, it was a crap. It was crap to move up. And now, see, the paint that I put on it is not staying. So, I'm going to have to take this off and redo that and figure that one out. But, oh, my daughter did smash the back window. That was hilarious and put a dent in the car just there which now this was the real joke this was a killer so and the back window from the agents or from a glass place was going to be about twelve and a half thousand rand which the insurance would have paid but i think that's insane for a piece of glass so i could replace it with a whole back door which would have cost me basically two and a half and or I could have replaced it. Uh, I did find this glass at one of the guys, which sent me back 1550, so 1550. Um, so that's the update on the Landy. It's all in good working order now. Everything's like all the little bits and pieces that are rattling and shaking apart are now not shaking and rattling apart. And now that we change the math sensor, we'll see how it goes.